Today we go back in time. We found gorgeous vintage utility poles topped with dazzling rare blue glass insulators. If you love pretty old things, stick around. I thought it would be cool to write a story about the insulators, which we saw the other day. I want to show you this. This is really neat. You almost never ever see these anywhere, but they used to put these on the telephone poles to do something, I don't know, insulate something or something. We spotted them on a trip down a side road for me to take a pee break, and, uh... Not that you pee in public or on side roads. Well, no. I, well, I would no, never do such a disgusting and despicable thing, but sometimes when you gotta go, you gotta go. And, uh, we saw these beautiful, colorful insulators that were obviously vintage insulators on top of an old utility pole. And I thought to myself that it would make an interesting story because I'm always looking for a good story. We're always looking for a good adventure. We're gonna go back and take another look at these poles, take some pictures, spend a little time on the railroad tracks and see if we can help develop this story a little bit more. Don't let that ginormous lens fool you. My husband is very secure. My son does not give a lick about insulators, but he happens to love train tracks, so he was so psyched about today's adventure. We were really enjoying, slowly meandering down the tracks, getting our inner hobo on, and all of a sudden, tragedy struck. Jessica lost her uh, phone somewhere along the railroad tracks. Typical. So I've been um, sent back out to find it. Phones don't grow on trees, and neither do the memories they contain. This is like a Indiana Jones style adventure to find Jessica's phone. Who knows what perils I will face. Use with caution, and I certainly did. What's that I see? Up in the distance? Oh, this doesn't look like any normal rock. Rose gold? Hmm. Why, it's Jessica's iPhone. My husband is my hero. He found my phone for me out in the woods. He walked all the way down the railroad tracks and got it for me. He's my big, big hero, my this phone angle hero. This is so unflattering. Well, I'm shorter than you are. So we're back on the railroad tracks again, looking for the blue insulators, but also we promised Wyatt we'd take him under this uh, bridge, just like the Red Hot Chili Peppers song. And look, and Daddy found the other pieces right here. It's buried. Stand back. I will get it. Mommy's gonna get it. Here, you can help. You hold this rock. Okay. And see, here's another piece right here. That piece is really buried. It's pretty hard to... Hold on. Hold I on now. The other half. Okay, here, you hold this rock for Mommy. Okay. Ooh, it's really in the ground. Look at this next Here, you hold rock. this one. We have to take some of the rocks away so we can get to it without getting any cuts on our fingers. Here, I have a tool in my bag. Yeah. How about the stick? Hey, you know what? That's not a terrible idea, but it looks like I got it. And look, hold on. Look, it's on the pole. It's on the... Oh, wow. And there's the other half. And there's the other... the other piece. Oh, wow. Good eye. That was really cool. Cool find. Look at... Oh! Wyatt, look at this. What do you see? A nice, nice. A nice, nice what? A nice, nice waterfall. Cool. A waterfall is an area where water flows over a vertical drop or a series of steep drops in the course of a stream or river. Huh, no kidding. Waterfalls also occur where meltwater drops over the edge of a tabular iceberg or ice shelf. 
Waterfalls are commonly formed in the upper course of a river where lakes fall into the steep mountains. Because of their landscape position, many waterfalls occur over bedrock fed by a little contributing area, so they may be ephemeral and flow only during rainstorms or significant snowmelt. The further downstream, the more perennial a waterfall can be. Waterfalls have a wide range of widths and depths. So these are the pieces that we found by the track of a couple insulators. This one is blue and it's really neat. You never see blue insulators anymore. You never see any blue glass at all anymore, really. It's all green, brown, and clear. And some of these pieces kind of go together, which is neat. But I sort of just like it in the pieces that it's in. It would have been nice if we'd found a whole one, but this one is a little bit more close to whole. As you can see, it's still on the connector on the, on the rod here that fell off of the pole. And what's interesting is this is metal and this is wood. It's, um, I guess they didn't want it to, for whatever reason, be metal. But it's, it's the top half and it connects all the way around. And then we have a few other pieces that don't quite make the whole insulator, but still really pretty and a cool thing to find on a nice afternoon yeah. stroll.